I'm Norm from Tested, and building computers for PC gaming is one of my favorite things. We've teamed up with Origin to have some fun with PC building and PC gaming. Join us on the series as we take on build projects, explore science, and test cool stuff to feed our curiosity. Together, we're Team PC. Hey, Sean, so when building a high-end gaming PC, can you guess what's the one aspect that stresses me out the most? Um, having enough LED lights. And never have enough lights. No, of course, never. you want it really flashy. Actually, the thing that trips me up when I'm building a PC is the airflow, the cooling of the computer. Yeah, uh, that, that can be really confusing. If you want to overclock, you have a high-performance video card in there, you need to keep everything properly cooled. Uh, so you could get into... You know, do you want positive pressure in your case? Do you want negative pressure in your case? One kind of like pushes air in. One has a bit of a vacuum effect. So which do you do? And those two scenarios are in effect even if you have the fans oriented the same way, mm -hmm. pushing into the front and out the top. So what we want to do today is visualize and test the effects of positive air pressure versus negative air pressure inside a game computer. And to do that, we'll get to the test and some high speed video. All right, for our first test, we're gonna try negative air pressure. Again, that's more air being exhausted than being taken in. So here you can see we're getting a lot of, of the fog right up front where it's being intake, uh, through the intake, and then you can see it flowing up to the top of the fan and it's, giving, it's getting sucked out the top pretty quickly. So the next setup we're gonna try is we're gonna try the exact same thing, negative pressure, but running it at half speed. Maybe you want your fans to be a little quieter. Hmm. And here you can see still a continuous movement from the front of the case to the back of the case, but not as much of it. You can actually really clearly see that less fog being moved through the case. Uh, our next test is what happens if you just lose power to your fans, your intake or your exhaust. So yeah, so we just have the intakes only going. All of the exhaust fans have been disabled. So it takes a while, but you can see all the fog just kind of milling about up there up top. You're not getting any exhaust of that hot air. And the same thing actually happens when you lose your intake, but still have the exhaust running. You're actually not getting circulation at all. You need both intake and exhaust to be working. And finally, here it goes, positive air pressure. More air being taken in than being exhausted. And the result? So you can see uh, where it's pulling in the, the fog like crazy, but it's kind of not, it's, it's kind of stagnating up here at the top. You're not getting as much exhaust because we're running them slower, so maybe not as efficient. So as you guys can see from our visualization, negative air pressure was much more effective than positive air pressure at moving air through a PC and, case. And that's the typical setup I think most people are using uh, for air cooling. It's why cases have more fans in the top and back than there are in the front or mm -hmm. bottom. But one more thing we want to show you is the effects of using different size fans or different configurations of fans. First of all, never do this. No. No, silly, silliness. So we have here four fans stacked, five fans stacked up vertically, and what you can actually see is it's- It's, it's just nothing. It, you, you actually get more air out of one all by itself, and when you turn them all on, they interfere with each other. It just doesn't do anything. So what happens if you get a much bigger fan? The monster. So this is about a 200 millimeter fan. 230. 230, 230. millimeter fan, and while it's very quiet, it's that's actually that's, not that's, moving a lot of air which is puzzling. So it, it, it's actually, if you go by cubic feet per minute, it moves a lot of air, but it's moving at a slower RPM, so it's nice and quiet. So that would be the advantage of using the big fan. And finally, a matrix of fans, two by two. That's a lot of air movement. Well, we went a little old school here. These are, these are not your typical case fans. These are 3,300 RPM and a little, you can hear them. But, but it's they, moving they a pump lot out of the air. air. <laughs> So there you have it, negative air pressure, a little more effective than positive air pressure, and also an array of fans, more effective than one big fan, <laughs> or definitely a stack, stack of fans. Yeah, no stack of fans. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> that was awesome.